So guys, what's going on? So today I want to talk about jujitsu. I'm lucky enough where I live, I have a lot of jujitsu dojos or jujitsu academies. I have a lot of Gracie jujitsu academies, which are absolutely fantastic. I mean, phenomenal. And my question is, when do you stop? Now I'm someone who's older. And I don't think that my body can take it uh, as much as maybe when I was younger. Uh, But my question is, what do you do for the 10-year-olds, the 8-year-olds, the 12-year-olds? When do you start them in jiu-jitsu? And then when do you stop? I'm not sure you can do jiu-jitsu forever. Or at least not a a four-day-a-week you know, hour a day, sometimes more, but we'll do the four day week, hour a day schedule and you're rolling and rolling and rolling. It does take a toll on you and there's all sorts of things. Uh, I guess when you're doing jujitsu, you have to know who you're rolling with. Uh, You have to be very conscious, not only of yourself, of the other person. Um, And it's not even a competitive thing. I know a lot of people that go into jujitsu as a hobby and then they fall in love with it and then it becomes to do a competition i see as for just like family members who are younger who are getting into jujitsu and they're like i said they're eight nine ten years old and i say to myself how long do we do this do we do jujitsu enough until we know it and then once we know it we stop it you know we do that three four day a week and then once we got it down do we taper it off you know maybe to like two days a week Anyone that's ever uh, did jiu-jitsu uh, and rolled, there's always that chance that you can get hurt. It doesn't matter if the person's um, bigger and heavier than you or even lighter and smaller than you. It's, I've been in the gym and just seen people by accident just fall on top of people the wrong way. Not, you know, just the way it is. You know, you're pulling, you're pulling, you're grabbing, you're turning, you're twisting, you're up, you're down. Uh And it's a lot. As you get older, at least for me, you know, there's only so much you can do. There's only so much gas you have in the tank. And I guess it's not for me. I kind of know my limits of, yeah, I got to stop. Something could happen. It's more of when you're younger and you start, when do you you stop this? Like, I kind of know everything I need to do. I'm not going to any... I'm not a competitor, so I'm not going into any sort of competition. I don't want to be in the UFC. I don't want to go to Pride. That's not my thing, and I wouldn't... It's something I wouldn't entertain. It's more of... I kind of know what I have to do if I get into a fight with the average Joe. Or I know what I uh, need to do if, you know, just being in the street. And once I'm at that point, do I just, you know, stop? And now maybe I go one day a week, maybe two days a week. And that's really just to, uh, I don't know, just to keep up with it, right? Like a refresher type of thing. I don't think it's a once a month thing. I'll use that as an, and this is my, this is an example I will use. Uh, like swimming. I have family members that do things like swimming and ice skating. And they can swim fantastic and they can ice skate fantastic. And then in the beginning, you were going to swimming every week and ice skating every week, once a week, once a week. Now they can get on the ice and skate around and, you know, they could do it for fun and it's great. And they have a great time, but they don't have to go every week anymore. They know how to ice skate. Same with a bike. You know, they could just jump on and go. And is that the theory, at least um, with me, with jujitsu? I'm not looking to get into a competition. I kind of know what I, you know, know. And, um... If I'm going up against somebody, I guess that's not, that doesn't know anything, or even if it's a different fighting style, I kind of know what to do and I know how to defend myself. Is it time just to cut back? Am I just doing the one or two days a week? And that's it. So that's my question. Please leave a comment below. I think that martial arts and jujitsu, actually any martial arts is fantastic. I don't care what it is. Uh, it, It builds your confidence and, um... Just just everything between the confidence, the, the get, getting into shape. I don't know. The, it's mental. It's physical. It's emotional. It's really great. I always say if you can, do it. Try it. And then we go from there. But that is it. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody's staying safe. I hope people do reply and tell me what their thoughts are. 
is after you kind of know what you know or you know enough, is it time to cut back? Do we scale back a little bit? Or do we just keep going? I guess the thing is it's almost like gambling. Do you keep going until you, you know, until you get hurt or until you crap out? Or do we kind of quit where we're ahead? We got our knowledge. We, we know what we're doing. And now we just, you know, we're just kind of maintaining it. Just in case, you know, we're still doing it to keep in shape. And we're still doing it in case some idiot, you know, approaches us on the street. And that's really it. All right. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's staying safe. God bless you guys. And I will talk to you guys later.